welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Elkin Wiesma, also known as EJ. So yes, today I'm going to do an update on the Arcade that I uh, poisoned. So a few weeks back I uh, started this uh, series uh, because I used a type of soap that contained uh, tea tree oil and my plants didn't take well. So we can see a few here. I know Catechetums uh, this time around start to losing their leaves, but trust me, it shouldn't look like this at this moment because those were in the in the treatment as well. Also some dendrobiums and uh, my nobly types uh, especially and uh, two fails and I had one or two odontoglossomosinium types. So today I'm going to do a checkup on uh, all of these orchids uh, to see how they are doing and I can already say it's going to be a good one. So that's a uh, big relief. So I felt so sorry for my orchids and I still do. But yeah, it's a good, uh, a good update. They are still alive and I will, uh, will uh, let you know and have a look, uh, of course, at the plants. But before I'm going to do that, I need uh, a few things, but at least this one I need to mention. Uh, Michael McCartney uh, put it out and it was a very good comment and I should have known of this by myself, but I didn't. I was so focused on the tea tree oil that I blamed that oil for the, the poisoning. But uh, of course it's a soap and the soap contains more uh, components. So there is a, a huge uh, opportunity uh, um, that it's not really uh, the tea tree oil, a possibility I should say, not an opportunity, a possibility that it's one of the different uh, other components that uh, poison my organs and not necessarily the tea tree oil. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. Like I said, I was so focused on the tea tree oil, so I thought it was the tea tree oil. He mentioned also that some nurseries uh, use the tea tree oil with great success as a pest control. Um, I'm done with it. I'm not going to use tea tree oil anymore directly on my plants. Like I mentioned in the in the first uh, video, is you can uh, I, and I will use it on my shelves, on my plastic covers that I use to clean it up because the tea tree oil um, the bugs really hate it. It's a very strong smell but like I said I'm not going to use it directly on my plants anymore because I have the paraffin oil originally coming from this Arca girl and that works well so I don't want to change it anymore I shouldn't have changed it I learned the hard way hence this is this video but that was one comment that I uh, would um, I needed to mention it's something to keep in mind and basically all the rest of the comments I sort of want to mention as well because you guys were so kind about the fact that these plants should make it. You were so uh, confident in me as a grower that it, I would be able to save them. Uh, for, uh, to be honest, I thought I, wanted, I, uh, I would, um, uh, I, I would uh, at least uh, lose one or two of them because they looked so bad. But no, all of you guys were certain they should make it. And so far they did. So thank you so much. It meant a, it meant a lot to me. It, it was really kind and uh, it helped me get back in the positive vibe and start really uh, growing these orchids again. So uh, yeah, that was really, really appreciated. That said and done, I will grab the camera now and we will have a look. So uh, because there are some funny things uh, going on and uh, yeah, overall it's going to be a good one. Let's, uh, let's uh, have a look at the plants. So while we are in this area of the greenhouse, let's start with a fail. Well, here she is, one of the fails. You can see this burned completely, but it stopped. So this part stayed alive and functioning, and this part will eventually fall off, plus this leaf over here. You can see some damaging going on over here. But overall, some lighter colors here, I know, but overall she looks fine and healthy and strong. She uh, kept her roots, so she should be fine. And this one, I believe that uh, was one of the fails that it treated as well, that lost that leaf completely. So it has two leaves on the same direction. It looks a little bit funny, but anyhow, she still has the roots. Uh, I believe this uh, leaf is still uh, beautifully growing, so that one should be fine as well. So those are the fails that I uh, mistreated. <laughs> Let's go over here to the dendrobium section. These are the ones that did, uh, the, whoops, didn't take it as bad, but you can see still some damaging going on. But 
and here as well. This is very obvious, you can see the new parts of the leaf and the old parts that was infected that I did uh, treat with the tea tree uh, oil. And we have some damaging going on here, discoloration, cell collapse, I believe, but we have a nice healthy leaf over here. This, believe, um, no, it's not my prima donna, it's this one. Pantana B. White. I'm not completely sure, but it looks very similar, so it's obviously officially in no ID, but she is uh, doing fine. It looks, they just do not look as nice. This is my prima donna over here. Whoops, I'm sorry. There's a plant above the camera, a bit in a way, but you can see beautiful new leaves. Luckily, this was still in growth. You can see here again where I treated it and after the treatment when it just kept on growing you can see that that part of the leaf is uh, looks beautiful here again so yeah see we'll be fine we have new growth over here nice healthy leaves so this is my prima donna and then we have the comet king over there it's similar beautiful new grow uh, green uh, leaves there we have some tip tie back there some damaging leaves over here but overall is doing well as well still a lot of leaves luckily on these guys it's my nobly types uh, yeah this one this one is doing funny you can see it started to bloom so yeah I think it is a, 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 um, a, re a yeah, reaction of the plant trying to uh, to survive by making blooms, making pollen. So probably, I'm not completely sure. But luckily, this cane over here is, it'll, yeah, this probably will fall off. But it has some leaves left, as you can see. I was afraid that this one uh, was going to die, but luckily it kept on growing. Makes some beautiful new leaves, very shiny. I didn't put anything on these guys, just, this ha is how they shine naturally. <laughs> and again, some damaging over here, the last part of the plant. We can see the, uh, the leaf, the last part. But the first part is the newest. That's after the treatment. So luckily they did get rid of that tea tree oil uh, quite quickly. I started to flush them, clean them up. That was also uh, in a few comments. And it did work, it absolutely did work beautiful but yeah <laughs> so we have some some flowers maybe a coincidence but i think it has to do with it was a little bit uh, threatened by the poisoning i believe this one yeah it has a leaf still left here as you can see but the rest is fall it fell off but it decided to make uh, two new growths i hope you can see there they are when I bought this plant, it was last year, yeah, last year, um, also just before winter, and it started to grow new growths just during winter, so this, this should be fine, this, this probably will uh, keep on uh, growing, and I think it will survive as well, but yeah, there should have been more leaves right now on, on fairly new canes, but those that fell off, but yeah, new growth. Similar to the Stardust over here. No, this is the Rainbow Dance. It's a variety of the Stardust, I believe. But you can see, new growths. Normally a bit too soon. These should be here probably about January, February, something like that. We have a new growth over there. And here and there, a leaf on the older cane, as you can see. But most of them felt off. But again, new growths. Beautiful. This is one of the stardust. This is the oh, yeah orange one. Also similar. New growth here, new growth there, and fairly new growth here. You can see this was treated, and then again after the treatment. Nice new part here. Similar again it has been treated, and then it grew some new tissue. Also here and we have some leaves for photosynthesis that's beautiful and what are you there that's a millibug i believe yeah let's go away <laughs> yeah 
but doing pretty fine. And the next uh, one, that's the yellow stardust, this is uh, completely similar. New leaves here, this one uh, completely dried up. That was when it was treated and this is after the treatment. So there's obvious, uh, it's very obvious in this case when they were treated and when the treatment stopped. It's kind of funny, but yeah, I'm so over the moon with these new growths. Even new parts here. Whoops, I'm sorry, there. And we have a nice green part here. So yeah, I, I, f I was afraid of losing these guys. These, these were taking it so hard. And I know, like, uh, like some of you said, the uh, dendrobins are known for uh, being, uh, yeah, they don't take treatments very well. I knew that, and, and, and it did show on the nobly types. But overall, all of them have something going on. New growths, for exception, this was still an older growth with a new part, but the rest had uh, started new growth. Luckily, they kept their root systems as well, so that's uh, beautiful. So yeah, overall we see some green, luckily, still on them. <laughs> Let's go in, no, no, not inside, we are now catacetums, of course. Here they are. Yeah, uh, this one, the Fred Clark is making a spike. Um, maybe I do get some more spikes, but what I can see, obviously the leaves, the damage on the leaves, but also the bulbs are not thickening up as much as they should. I've, they they have some size to them and they should be fine, but they, 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 yeah, they, I can see it. They are not as happy. They started to get happier again. <laughs> Let's put it like that. So yeah, next year, you guys, I'm going to try to grow the heck out of them. <laughs> but yeah, I think they will survive. They look strong still, but I, I the blooming will, n I think, not be as spectacular as last year and the year before. But yeah, that's okay. I'm 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 happy they still alive. That was the most important thing, of course. But yeah, you can see oh, a lot of damage. Poor things, poor things. But they are alive. Let's go inside for the last two, I believe. I had yeah, two of them. And again, you can see these parts are completely dying off, but these parts are still here of the leaves and here you can see it looks it looks almost like sun damage or something <laughs> but these do not get any direct sunlight at all so it's not the oil and the sunlight combined that uh, make did make the burning happening but it looks like a blisters sun burning and you can see this is done blooming but but it was beautifully in my uh, beautiful blooming so it was in my updates my blooming updates yeah, here and there are some marks. And that's it, you guys. That's it. I mean, look at this. It's beautiful bulb, still growing. It's also already started new growth. I was hoping for a flower spike, to be honest, on this one. Never had it in bloom yet. But anyhow, it's doing, uh, doing okay. It's doing okay. <laughs> that was the most important part. <laughs> So yeah, like I said in the beginning, overall a good update, uh, luckily, and I really was uh, afraid for losing uh, this one. It's very common, I know, it's not uh, for especially in Europe. This is Dendrobium Spring Dream of Pollen. I see it for sale every single year, so I could have replaced it, but this is a gift uh, from my husband when uh, he did find it at his uh, job back in the days uh, in a second-hand store and it was like oh i think i found a nicer orchid maybe it's not that common he had not uh, not really an idea it's fairly common but it's it, yeah it was nice and i took it uh, of course i said yeah i would like it and it's just uh, it has a little story behind it and i always like that when i have plants when there's a sort of memory attached to them um those are the best you can always kind of always replace them but n there's nothing i like the original one with the original story of course yeah that's who i am i like those things and um yeah it's um yeah there is a bit of fragrance this one can smell so great so great so like i said i'm not completely sure if it is it did start blooming because of the poisonous but i think uh it maybe 
put energy in this new cane, the last part of the cane, as you can see it's quite beautiful actually, uh, and bigger than the previous one, so it still managed to grow bigger. Um, but I thought maybe, it also thought, well, you know what, I'm going to grow this one and put some flowers so I can pollinate maybe something, something like that. I'm not sure, but just to, uh, yeah, uh, continue growing the species, basically, of course, to survive, to let the species survive, something like that in nature. I'm not completely sure. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. I enjoy the blooms and uh, it has um, a nice root system. There are a few older ones. This one is in its spot for 2018. Six years? Yes, September, six years, oh my God. Um, so I expect some older roots. Let's uh, let's see. Yeah, but we also have some new roots. I hope you can see them. So a bit of both, but it's doing fine. It's absolutely doing fine. So yeah, six years in this little pot. So you can imagine this is not the strongest because I was mistreating it, and then it finally started to grow a cane, and then I poisoned it. Oh my god! But it's still here. It's still here, and uh, yeah, it's currently here. Yeah blooming giving us some uh, something uh, nice to look at and overall it's looking okay i hope this year it will put out a few more canes i would like to get it a little bit bigger and stronger but who knows anyhow so far a good update and that's a, such a relief it's such a relief so i hope you enjoyed this video um and I just wanted to say thank you all for the nice comments. It really uh, make a difference for me. Yeah, I felt very sad and you never know. Probably I will make a bad decision uh, again someday. Some, but yeah, you, you try new things and things not always do well. It happens, but when it happens, it's uh, not nice. Yeah, I feel very, very sad for them, but they are still alive. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, if you have any questions, suggestions, please let, them, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And of course, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>